Welcome back. So you want to know whether you should buy, sell, invest in real estate, and just how the market is doing right here in San Antonio. Well, in this video, I'm gonna break it all down for you and tell you exactly how the market's doing in San Antonio, Texas, so you can make an informed decision. So let's jump into it. So how is the market? Is it good for buyers? Is it good for sellers? Is it good for investors? Who is it good for right now? Well, here in San Antonio, we are what is called a balanced market. So it's not necessarily favoring sellers, or buyers, it's kind of right in the middle in a neutral state. Last year, we were definitely in a seller's market. We're no longer in that market. It is a completely different market than it was last year. Yes, interest rates are about the same, but buyers are now realizing that, hey, if we wanna buy, we're gonna to have to do something now because prices are still rising. Now in the last month, the average sales price across San Antonio was about $295,000. Now that is actually up just under $11,000 from this same time last year. Now that's about 3.9% of an increase. Now, as far as homes for sale on the market, at the end of last month, we had 8,536 homes that were for sale on the market. That's also up 11%. So we have higher inventory and we also have a higher median price point across the city. Now, as far as homes being sold, we had 1,307 homes, which was up about 10% from the previous month. So essentially, we were slow at the beginning of the year from January and February, but it had really picked up in the month of March. Buyers are back out there looking, sellers are putting their homes on the market, so it has become a normal market once again. It's not like it was in the past few years, but a normal market was pre-COVID when homes were on the market for a little bit longer. Buyers didn't have to make an offer on the first home they seen in one hour or two hours. They had time, they had opportunity, and sellers were selling their homes for a great price as well. So we're getting back to that stable, balanced market. Now, one thing to know, there was about 767 homes that actually sold for under asking price. What that means is sellers are still listing their homes high, expecting to get more than what their home is valued at, realizing after a few weeks that their home is just not going to sell for that value, then dropping price, and then it goes under contract. That seems to be the trend going on right now. 59% of homes are being sold for less than what they're listed at. That's it's pretty crazy. As far as days on market, we are sitting around about 76 days, which is also up quite a bit. It's actually up over 15% compared to this time last year. So if you wanna sell your home, you wanna sell it quickly, you're gonna to have to price it right and expect it to sit on the market for some time. But if you price it right or even under market value, you will sell it pretty quickly because buyers are pretty smart. They know what they're looking for. They know that the prices are gonna drop and they're expecting you to come down. But if you start at the low point, then you're gonna bring those buyers in who are just waiting for a deal and it's actually gonna drive up the price. I know this might not make sense, but just think of an auction. When somebody starts a little bit lower, you're gonna see a lot of people coming in wanting a great deal making bids and driving up that price. Works the exact same way. So if you wanna sell quickly in this market, just price it right. Now, if you're a buyer, my advice is, is go out there and look. There's a lot of homes that have been sitting on the market. Don't go in there and make a low ball offer. What you should do is make an offer and ask for concessions to go toward your closing costs to either buy down your rate or help with some of that money out of pocket. That's going to be the best way to go and ultimately save you the most money. And if you're like me, you probably want to save the most money right now rather than saving money 10, 20, 30 years from now because who knows if you're even staying in this house that long. At the end of the day, if you got any questions about buying, selling real estate, investing, reach out to me today. Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, and we can put a plan together for you and your family specifically. Talk to you guys later.